to Rusty Mix. Today we'll be making sugar cookies. We have two cups of butter in this mixer here. We all cleaned it together. And we're making these sugar cookies for my bake sale at my Christmas show. So we're gonna do, we got our butter, now we need all two and a half cups of sugar. Let's get my two and a half cups. Oh, guys. Let's get my two and a half cups of sugar. sugar but it's good that my mommy reminded me I thought it was one and a half it was two and a half we got these big clumps of sugar in here but that's fine guys that's the second cup now we're done with our sugar
Four teaspoons. I love my teaspoon. I'm gonna get my vanilla extract. This is vanilla. So we need four. We'll put this in with my eggs. Example. Now we'll crack our eggs. These eggs should be good because we got these from the store. So. Close the eyes, I'm going to blow up my seat. together on my wet ingredients. So we'll clean this. And I'll finish up my fries. So these are all my ingredients that we'll use for my fries. So is my flour and sugar, but we clean our sugar in with our butter.
to get that cleaned. Now I'm going to store my dry ingredients. I just started hitting it, so I'm going to do a small bit at a time. I'll do half my Y. And get my dough. Stuff. After flour? Yeah. Okay. And baking powder and salt. And soda. This is my almond extract. Let me put my lid on my almond. So we're going to make a peanut butter buttercream for this. So getting all my dry ingredients with my egg and my vanilla. I put some of my dry ingredients in before I put all my wet. I made a uh-oh. That is always fixable. Because we, I don't know how much flour I put in my bowl. You're supposed to do all your wet ingredients and then you're done. And it's still the same, it's just the way that you did it. That you're supposed to do it. Alright. It's really sticky looking. Yeah, you need to put more foam on there. You'll probably use no soap on it.
Okay, we reviewed the footage. I have five cups in here. So we're gonna use it all. I was really scared that I did that I put six or less. So we made sure I put enough in and not too much in. I'm just gonna go in there with my hands and put it in. I don't want them being flowery cookies. That's why it was so worried, guys. It's because I didn't want it to be too many. There we go. Put it up. <laughs> ah! Files gone. I'm gonna get me a clean towel to put it like this. I'm so scared. I can't have flowers thrown. Both can get fly on to like y'all. Very thick cookie dough. I'm scraping the edges and my battle, my beetles, because look at that so mess. We're gonna beat until it's combined because if um, you don't, they'll get tough. If you overmix. If you overmix, they'll get tough. Very good. Look at these cookies, guys. Ugh. We'll be making sandwiches. I'm good, so we're gonna take this food. Guys, I'm gonna try it, okay? I'm gonna try it though. Yummy! We're gonna clean up and then we'll see you back then. Bye! Welcome back. We are, we're cleaned up. Now we'll be making. Look how smooth it turns out. We're gonna hope we get three dozen on each pan. If I want to. It's fine, guys. It's fine, I'll just make, we'll just eat that one and have one missing. I can't lose another one. We don't have enough in butter to make another. Well, I'm gonna make them all the same size. I love them guys, so scoop and plop. That was a test, I guess, to make sure that they work and don't stick. <laughs> I thought I dropped another. <laughs> These will spread out and they'll. So, if we have any leftovers from a. Six dozen. We'll eat them. We're gonna have six dozen cookies made.
So we have 20 cookies on this pan and we're gonna put these in the oven to 10 to at 350 to 10 to 11 minutes and this is what they look like. We'll see you after. We have our sugar cookies out of the oven and cooled. So now we're gonna make a peanut butter butter cream for them. And it's gonna, mm -hmm. so we're gonna, we're winging it how much peanut butter we're putting in, but we're gonna get close, hope we get close to a half a cup of peanut butter. So first you're gonna put a whole stick of butter because that's only a half a cup. There's a half a cup of butter. Now let's get our peanut butter. We use, we're using peanut pan. But you don't have to use peanut pan. Now you're gonna use big spoonfuls of peanut butter. Okay. One. I hope this is a half cup of peanut butter. Just about a fourth, probably. There's a half. I did about a fourth, so there's a half, I guess. I got my half a cup of peanut butter. We steak, it's a half. It doesn't leak to the peanut butter, guys. I'm gonna put the peanut butter a little bit in the salt. Here. So I'm gonna scrape out my peanut butter butter cream. Like scrape the peanut butter down into the butter cream pot so it can eat. It's gonna be peanut butter and it's gonna be butter cream. Peanut butter butter cream is hard to say. <clears throat> peanut butter butter cream, peanut butter butter cream, peanut butter butter, butter cream. I'm just gonna put my powdered sugar in. I'm gonna get some scissors for my mommy. Got my notes in there. This is hard to cut, but I think that's all pretty good. Let's start with that. Oh. I spilled some on my bed stuff. No, no, wait. Mom, 
Mommy, can you pass the thing? We had a powdered sugar mess that I had cleaning up. Good. We're getting the powdered sugar off the table. Now we'll mix it. I almost forgot to put powdered sugar, so I was wondering why it wasn't coming in into one. Hang on, honey. Wait, wait. Get back up. Actually, and wipe the side of your bowl off. Now, get all the powdered sugar off now. to tone down. Did you put your vanilla in there? Oh no. Put it in there. I didn't put my vanilla in yet. I didn't put my vanilla in yet. There you go. Good job. Now, now take your spatula and scrape your bowl again. We're gonna scrape our bowl. I put enough powdered sugar. This gets very, very sweet. Let me see. I hit my eye, guys. You have all this glue right here. You see it? Yeah. You guys, I'm going to make this. Don't take Just hang on. We have this attachment for my peanut butter buttercream. Last time I made a buttercream, I used my hand. That was very hard. Now, turn it back on.
take my edges, guys. I'm gonna taste it too. Make sure I taste peanut butter. I'm gonna put the peanut butter in here. My piping bag on the spill. I always have my vaping tip in this. Oh, look at that mess. <laughs> Yeah, I made a small mess. <laughs> it's not going to get the peanut butter yet, but we'll see what I'm doing. Don't put that in there while it's running, honey. I've done that and I tore up a mixer. I'm just going to do that. It's just frosting. I just wanted to. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up and I'm gonna taste it. Once I get the mixed up. We're gonna put a little bit of milk. Just a little bit of milk. I can't really taste the peanut butter. I'm gonna put a little bit more peanut butter, guys. Just that much. I totally only taste the peanut butter. It took a little a while to taste peanut butter. So I'm gonna just break the edge and put that peanut butter in. That really nice. Because we really want that kind of flavor. I really want peanut butter, like a PB and J. It's all mixed up. So that's done. Taste peanut butter. Yeah, tastes like it tastes like plain peanut butter. That's what I'm going for, but I didn't want to put just plain peanut butter in here. I wanted to make like a butt cream. So okay, so. We're going to put our peanut butter buttercream, a wing of peanut butter buttercream, and then a dollop of jelly in the middle and top it. Oh, but I'm still trying. This is hard, but I'm getting it. Yeah. At first it looks really clumpy, but then when you add the milk, it starts forming um, buttercream. Maybe you should just make the regular buttercream first and then put your peanut butter. The fat in your peanut butter replaces some of your butter. Of your peanut butter replaces some of your butter. Then. Yeah, peanut butter is a replacer. It's like making cream cheese icing. You cream replace cheese. some of your butter with, with cream, cream cheese. cheese. You basically are making cream cheese icing, guys, just with peanut butter, buttercream. I should have just said peanut butter, guys. Peanut butter. But 
thing about how to clean it because of what it is. I got all I could, guys. But this will be enough for just some plain peanut butter burger cream. It's just peanut butter burger cream, so. You don't have to add anything fancy. It's peanut butter burger cream. So this is how I'm gonna get it in. So you have the piping bread in a cup. And I'm gonna just put it in there. Put all of it in there. Like all I have, it's coming in there. Please put it. Hey, we're recording. Can you please quit interrupting? <clears throat> I'll get your daddy up if he's not up by a certain time. That's what my peanut butter butter cream is. It's fine if you have some chunks of peanut butter butter cream. They'll stay there. Bag twisted, you'll hold it just like that. That's what my we're inside. just gonna flip all these cookies real quick. Because they're stuck and it's hard to do it with a piping bag. <sighs> that one was really stuck. These are sticky. How much easier? Ta da! I did it, guys! Now let's. Oh, I was holding up here. this cookie. You need a little more on that cookie. I'm running out of spice cream down here. But, uh, tight. <coughs> you can untwist it and add more if you need to. There you go. Beautiful. Hey, they're not going to see the inside, so. Because they're going to be sandwiched together. some more buttercream in here. Yep, you can push down from the top. There you go. Now we'll twist. Mm -hmm. Down. Mm -hmm. And twist.
I'll just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Guys, I. Or just not publish my own thoughts. Piping's hard, isn't it? <laughs> now I'm ready. Huh? I'm gonna get my mama to twist it. <laughs> That's what I was seeing what we had. I want to pipe. Show me what I need. I'm going to let you pipe in just a second. Let me see what we have here. So here's four cookies for this one and this one. You only got two left. So you just do those two or those two, okay? I want to do these two. So we twist it. And you're my mama to twist. you see how I pull it real tight? Uh-huh. And then we squeeze with your middle hand. So this is what you're going to do. My baby made the jelly. It's fairly clumpy, but it's fine. It's preserves, not jelly. It's preserves, not jelly, but that's fine. It's allowed to be preserves. You just put a small bit of jelly, or a lot if you want. I'm gonna get jelly in these. Hey, take your finger. We're just gonna take my finger. It's very clumpy. And your fingers are clean. And my fingers are clean, so. I'm getting sandwich cookies done. Mm -mm. That's way too much. There you go. There we go. Right in the middle. Don't do all of that. Don't buy my half. There you go. One more Perfect. cookie and then we're topping. That one didn't actually went in the hole. Now let's top our cookies. That's a little and that's what your channel's cookies should look like. Finish up and then try one, okay? I'm just going to do that way. Mm -hmm. They look good. not a cookie until you try it. Make sure you set that one aside to try. <laughs> I'm trying this one now. Well, I feel things. I 
delicious. Tastes like a PB and J. Bye. Remember to like and subscribe. And we post every video Monday. Bye guys.